As you guys can see from the side by side of Eminem and Central C, Central C's physical vessel is designed based off Eminem's vessel. So in this side by side, they look identical to each other. They have the same mannerisms, the same attitude. If you watch these characters closely, you can see the details of these characters being quite similar. Here's another side by side and they look identical to each other. And this is another side by side of them. This Central C character is a new variant made from the long list of characters that Eminem stems from so I recommend you guys go check out Conscious X videos on Eminem he has two videos on that character because Eminem comes from such a wide range of characters none of these celebrities are original their vessels are copy and paste recycled they're made you know they're not real okay and that's something people need to wrap their minds around and like i said they look so much alike in the side by side here's another one and they're even doing a similar photo shoot so these characters look identical and there's so many connections and riddles between these two characters so i recommend you guys watch this video all the way through one mind-blowing disturbing riddle i discovered was the connection drake has to both characters so as you guys can see from this collage I made, on the left that is Drake and Eminem and then on the right that is Drake and Central C. So these two characters are very close. We see that Drake and Eminem have multiple songs together. The Central C character is obsessed with Drake as you can see from these photos right here. And on the topic of Eminem and Drake having so many songs together, ironically Central C and Drake did a on the radar freestyle. There's a lot of encoded messaging within the lyrics of this freestyle. One core damage control riddle that the Drake character subliminally hinted at was who the Central C character comes from, okay? They always do damage control, always admit the truth in plain sight for the masses to see. And we see right here in this on the radar freestyle, we see that in Drake's verse, he says, the morning rain clouds up his window, swear he feels like Dido. <laughs> look at the connection with that like do you guys understand the connection that's gonna happen right here so drake has this song this radar freestyle with central c he does an encoded messaging basically hinting at who the central c character comes from and he referenced dido and he quotes the chorus of the song stan and that song stan is a song by eminem and this is just a crazy insane connection you know that lyric is a reference to the song with Eminem and Dido. Uh, this is really sick and it's like super ironic and it's in plain sight. And I really hope people are grasping this, this concept because they admit everything in plain sight. It's not just some random song that they make. None of their lyrics are just random. Nothing is just random. They are admitting things in the, in the midst of their lyrics, um, in their interviews, everything that they do, they're admitting some type of backhanded agenda that they have some type of deception that they're doing on the masses so they can avoid having negative karma because it's like they admitted it in plain sight and it's up to people whether or not they want to believe it or just completely disregard it and i just think it's crazy how people will listen to this they won't even cipher the encoded messages inside these songs they just you know obliviously listen to things and don't think anything deeper to it like why would they mention this you know and beside from the lyrics here's another encoded message a subliminal in the music video of this freestyle the room of course is green okay and if you guys are familiar with conscious x past videos on eminem he has a video saying how eminem is tom green or tom green is eminem whichever way you want to see it I usually go based off of who's older, doesn't really matter, they're all fake at the end of the day. And the connection here is that his name is Tom Green. This new variant that they have, which is Central C, he does this freestyle with Drake. Drake references the song Stan, which is by Eminem, to let people know who this Central C character is. And ironically, they do this with the radar and the radar's theme is green. His name is Tom Green. Come on now, like these little connections. They're so subliminal and like subtle and it's like, people really need to like, you know, wake up because it's like people are getting deceived so much and they don't even understand that. And 
Beside from the room being green, he's wearing, the Central C character, he's wearing a jersey that says Tommy. His other character comes from a guy named Tom Green. Green room, shirt that says Tommy. Tom, Tommy, come on. All these crazy riddles and connections. So now I want to reveal some connections between Tom Green and Eminem. So we see that both of these characters have the same life path number. Now, their birthdays are scripted for multiple reasons. One main reason being so they could truly infiltrate and truly have characteristics of a real human being, okay? And to seem like they're divinely connected, you know? And that's why they do these things. So Eminem's birthday is October 17, 1972. Tom Green's birthday is July 30th, 1971. They're one year apart, of course. And we see that if you do the numerology of Eminem's birthday, it comes to 28, two plus eight is 10. And then even Tom Green, you do the numerology of his birthday, it comes to 28. So they match with the number that it equals before it's even like deciphered, like decoded, broken down. They match with that number, 28. And that number deals with success and money. So of course, these are most likely successful characters. Now, Central C is also connected to them with the life path number one. He is born June 4th, 1998. Six plus four plus one plus nine plus nine plus eight is 37. Three plus seven is 10. The zero has no value, so that's one. He's just like Tom and Eminem. It's like they're keeping some type of cycle going. There's so many little riddles with all of these characters and connections. Central C was born 1998. Ironically, that is the same exact year Eminem was signed. You guys can see that right here. He was signed in 1998. Now, before he was signed, he worked at Little Caesars. Okay, and I found that to be a crazy connection because Central C's middle name or last name, I don't know if he has two last names, whatever, but his name includes Caesar. Okay, and what is the chances that Eminem works at Little Caesars before he was even famous? And then we see that in the On The Radar Freestyle, Drake again, again is doing this hinting damage control, having to admit the truth in plain sight. He says, you know, that's how Jesus died. You know, that's how Julius Caesar died. Okay. And we see that Central C's middle or last name is Caesar. And then we see that Eminem, his other character, worked at Little Caesars before he died became a rapper and got famous and then he even has this photo that is in reference towards his older characters which i recommend you guys go check out conscious x videos you know because he talks about eminem's older characters so caesar matches to death with 20 and of course in drake's lyric he's talking about how julius caesar died and these characters all may be death fakers they have like some type of death faker vibe to them so eminem worked at little caesars before he was famous which is a pizza place and we see that central c has this photo and he's holding these pizzas this is really symbolic i think this is also a connection i think that this is also them emitting things subliminally subtly and Eminem, of course, comes from very old characters, as we can see from this side by side right here. And then Drake admits in plain sight that these characters are what people would consider immortal. They're only immortal in the sense that they're not real vessels, so therefore their vessels don't technically die, and their immortality isn't that they are being around forever, it's that their vessel is being copied and pasted throughout history, if that makes sense. It's like an imitation of reincarnation. So we see he says for like he'd been here over a thousand years, like since the medieval times, okay? And we see that this Eminem character comes from very old characters. Again, here's Conscious X videos about that. He has a video called Eminem is Immortal from a year ago. And then two years ago, he has a video on Tom Green and Eminem. 
So let's talk about green and the number 23. So in this on the radar freestyle, the room was green. Down the line, he comes from a character called Tom Green. Green equals 23 in a reverse reduction cipher. 23 is five, two plus three, five, okay? Gay equals five in the Chaldean cipher. In Central C's biggest song, Doja, he says these top lyrics and the second line in the verse says, his bitch is gay okay so we see that there's an obvious riddle going on here okay there's nothing to really be explained here we just see that he connects to the word gay and yet his biggest song doja he says that word in the chorus on the topic of 23 Fake equals 23, TikTok equals 23, clown equals 23. I recommend you guys go check out my clown video and agenda equals 23. So now let's talk about the number 33. Masonry equals 33 in a reduction cipher. Central C, the initials of Central C is CC. C is the third letter, that's two C's, that's 33. He wears a Chanel chain, CC, see both sides, okay? And then we see that gay equals 33. And I just showed you guys how he was in a green room. Green equals 23. 2 plus 3 is 5. Gay just so happens to equal 5 in the Chaldean cipher. His biggest song, Doja, he references his female being gay. Also, Magic equals 33. Eminem has a song called Till He Collapsed with Nate Dogg. I don't say I because you casting that on yourself. Magic equals 33. In that song, in verse two, Eminem says, music is like magic. See that connection? So we see that the central C character, the initials are CC, 33, makes is 33. And his biggest song, Doja, he referenced his female being, and that equals 33. And then we see that magic equals 33 in an eminem song with nate dog he says music is like magic all right and then we see sex equals 33 orange equals 33 and we see that the eminem sorry the central c character is outside and the orange the wall is orange the inside of the car is orange technically eminem character has 33 in his name if you flip the E's, the two E's, it makes a 33. You flip the M, you get a 33, okay? And right here is 33 with two M's. So basically, I rotated the M's and put them sideways. And look, you get 33. So these characters are really connected with the number 33. Central C is referred to as cinch. Cinch equals 33 in the ordinal cipher. Come on now. Now more little riddles and more little connections. So Dr. Dre and Eminem have this magazine cover from a while back. And of course, in the tiny corner of the magazine, guess what they're promoting? All right. So look what the Central C character says in the On The Radar freestyle. He says if he, you know, you guys can read that. Basically, he tells her that she needs to take plan B. All right these two things are connected like super connected <laughs> just understand how connected that is they're literally promoting the same agenda and ironically we see back here they connect to sex with 33 so next is a number 13 and a number four so eminem is like eminems <laughs> the candy and that's m m is the 13th letter matrix starts with an m masonic monday moon moon day come on all these symbolic codings so that's the number 13 being connected to these characters so 13 sums to four four symbolizes stability and order in eminem's song lose yourself and then he says one key detail he says as we move towards a new world order so 13 and 4 is really connected with these characters since 13 and 4 is connect to order the matrix so that's just a very symbolic thing with these characters and m is the 13th letter ironically so he's wearing this jersey and i talked about this in the beginning of the video and it has the number 85 on there a plus 5 is 13 which is 4 all right and that's crazy and ironically central c is born on the fourth so they're really connected to the number 13 and 4 
super encoded. These two characters even do the same hand gesture. This hand gesture is basically an M and like if you flip it downwards so it's pretty insane. So now let's talk about the Central C character being connected to twos. So Central C's full name equals 222 in the reverse cipher. This character actually got bigger and more known in 2022. His song Doja came out in 2022 and it peaked at number two. Okay now twos deal with feminine energy and that's why this character got big in 2022 his name equals 222 and he made a song about a female character a quote-unquote female character because they're all impersonating called doja and that song peaked at number two what is the chances of that and then on top of that that song doja that he made is sampled from Eve's 2001-201 song and Eve is in reference towards in like the Bible when they say there was first Adam and then there was Eve. See how they do this? They're, the numerology that's going on there because one is masculine, two is feminine. He sampled this song from two female artists so that's a double going on there and ironically this song was produced, the original song was produced by Dr. Dre, and we see how close Dr. Dre is to Eminem. Um, and we see that, of course, Dr. Dre discovered Eminem, and he's in love with Eminem. So this is just an insane connection, but these twos are insane also because it's like all intrinsically connected. It's connected for this character, Central C, to be popular and the year 2022 from a song called Doja, which is about a quote-unquote female celebrity. The song beat is sampled from Eve's song, and according to the Bible, first there was Adam, then there was Eve. One is masculine, two is feminine, and then not only that, it comes from two female, quote-unquote female celebrities, a song, okay, and it's produced by Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre is connected to Eminem, so many little riddles. And another two is that Eminem has this photo and in the background, of course, I like looking in the background, the numbers sum up to two. All right, so that connects to all the twos. This is a Central C character, Younger. I think when they're infiltrating, they edit them to look quite different. And then once they make them bigger, they edit them to look more like a certain celebrity that's already out to help people get, I guess, more infatuated with them since they look so familiar. It's a play on the mind, you know, the recycling of these characters. And then we see that he's wearing the red bottom shoes, the red bottoms in reference towards the root chakra. Now some Dramatria. Eminem's full name matches to Oakley Sue, which is Central C's first and last name with 109 in the ordinal and reduction cipher. Tom Green matches to the first and last name of Eminem with 38 or 83, whichever way you want to see it. Somebody going to be a death faker up in this group. And ironically, we see that Central C, he has his photo in front of this car. And look, 38 is on the license plate. And not only that, it has 303 on there. The zero has no value. That's 33. I just told you guys about all the 33s with these characters. Rapper equals 38, matching to Slim Shady. Slim Shady equals 38, and Tom Green equals 38. Central C matches to Death with 37 in a Latin ordinal and Latin reduction cipher. Oakley Sue, which is Central C's first and last name, matches to Central with 44 in a reverse reduction cipher. The shows he scripted, scripted to have that stage name. Green matches to Central C with 86 and matches to Eminem with 31. Eminem's last name matches to Central C's first name, Oakley, with 69 in the ordinal and reverse reduction cipher. Marshall matches to Rapper, Killing, and Masonry with 34. Eminem matches to Green, Oakley Sue, and Oakley Caesar Sue with 56 and 29. Eminem's first and last name are matching to each other with 30 and 39. This shows he's a character whenever that happens. And this video is odd. Of course, he's doing one eye symbolism in this entire video. When will people understand what's going on here? So thank you guys so much for watching. This is a really insane one. I think there's too many riddles with this one that it gets a little 
complex and crazy but this needs to be freaking exposed because they look so much alike and the connections are just insane and all the riddles are just insane so thank you guys so much for watching i truly appreciate you all so much conscious x and i have released merch it is available on our website divinesade.com we offer free shipping on all items currently we have a total of seven items these are all of our foundation items and we plan to release more as time goes on. We have a total of three t-shirts, three mugs, and a book for a purchase. All items include dope spiritual sacred designs. The t-shirts are made out of cotton and are available in six sizes, while the mugs are BPA and lead free. Buying our merch directly supports us and helps us continue creating content on YouTube. Thank you all for your support. We appreciate each and every one of you.